Good morning children. Today we will start with the third part of linear equations in two variables. Let us learn how to draw the graph of a linear equation in two variables. In the previous sections we have learned how to find the solutions of linear equations in two variables. We have seen that a linear equation in two variables has infinitely many solutions. Also in the chapter coordinate geometry we have learned how to plot the points. If we plot the solutions of a linear equation in two variables on a graph paper we find that each solution represents a point. Let us take any two points P and Q representing two distinct solutions and draw a line passing through them. We shall find that the points representing various solutions lie on the line passing through P and Q. Thus, we find that a linear equation in two variables is geometrically represented by a line such that every solution of a linear equation represents a point on the line. Also, Every point on the line is a solution of the linear equation. Such a line is called the graph of the linear equation in two variables. In order to draw the graph of a linear equation in two variables, we may follow the following steps. First, take our linear equation. For example, let us take a linear equation x plus 2y is equal to 6. Now let us express y in terms of x. That means keep the y variable alone on one side and transpose the remaining terms to the RHS. So as per our example we have 2y is equal to 6 minus x and y is equal to 6 minus x by 2. Give any three values for x and find out the corresponding value for y. That is, if x is equal to 0, we can see y will be 6 minus 0 by 2, which is equal to 3. Similarly, if x is equal to 2, y will be 6 minus 2 by 2, which is 4 by 2 equal to 2. If x is equal to 4, y is equal to 6 minus 4 by 2 which gives 2 by 2 equal to 1. Therefore, we have the three solutions as 0 comma 3, 2 comma 2 and 4 comma 1. Now, take a graph paper and plot the points on the graph paper. Draw a line passing through these points. Take a graph paper and plot the points 0 comma 3 2 comma 2, 4 comma 1 and joining these points we can see the straight line of the linear equation x plus 2y is equal to 6. It is always advisable to plot more than two points so that the correctness of the graph can be checked. Let us do one more question. Draw the graph of 4x plus 3y is equal to 24. Here, our linear equation in two variables is 4x plus 3y equal to 24. Let us express y in terms of x. Therefore, it will be 3y is equal to 24 minus 4x and therefore y will be 24 minus 4x by 3. Giving x is equal to 0, we can see y is equal to 24 minus 4 into 0 by 3 which is equal to 24 by 3 equal to 8. Therefore, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 8. We can say 0 comma 8 is a solution of our equation. As our denominator is 3, in order to avoid a fraction, we can give x as the value multiples of 3. If x is equal to 3, y is equal to 24 minus 4 into 3 by 3 which is 12 by 3 equal to 4. Therefore, 3 comma 4 is the second solution. 
if x is equal to 6 we have y equal to 0 therefore 6 comma 0 is the third solution if x is equal to 9, y is equal to 24 minus 4 into 9 by 3, which is negative 12 by 3 equal to negative 4. Therefore, we can see 0, 8, 3, 4, 6, 0 and 9, negative 4 are solutions of the linear equation 4x plus 3y equal to 24. Plot the points. 0, 8, 3, 4, 6, 0 and 9, negative 4 on a graph paper and joining all these points we can see a straight line which will be the graph of our linear equation. Let us start with exercise 4.3 page number 74. Question number 2. Give the equation of two lines passing through 2, 14. How many more lines are there and why? Since 2 comma 14 is a solution means x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 14. So we can frame equations like x plus y equal to 16 or x minus y equal to negative 12 or 2x plus y equal to 18. As we know infinite lines can pass through a point, we can say infinite lines can be drawn through 2 comma 14. Question number 3. If the point 3 comma 4 lies on the graph of the equation 3y is equal to ax plus 7, find the value of a. It is given that 3 comma 4 lies on the equation. Therefore, x equal to 3 and y equal to 4 can be substituted in our equation which gives 3 into 4 is equal to a into 3 plus 7 which will be 12 is equal to 3a plus 7. To find the value of a transpose 7. So it will be 12 minus 7 is equal to 3a and from this we can say 3a is equal to 5 and a is equal to 5 by 3. Question number 4. The taxi fare in a city is as follows. For the first kilometer the fare is rupees 8 and for the subsequent distance it is rupees 5 per kilometer. Taking the distance covered as x kilometer and the total fare as y write a linear equation for this information and draw its graph. Here it is given the total distance covered by the taxi is x kilometer. Also for the first kilometer the taxi takes a fare of rupees 8. So we can automatically say the remaining distance is x minus 1 kilometer where it will be rupees 5 per kilometer. So we can frame our equation as for the first kilometer with 8 rupee plus the remaining kilometers with 5 rupee the total fare is equal to y. It will be 1 into 8 plus x minus 1 into 5 is equal to y which can be written as 8 plus 5x minus 5 equal to y and making it into the standard form our equation is 5x minus y plus 3 equal to 0. To draw the graph of the equation, we are finding the value of y in terms of x. Therefore, y is equal to 3 plus 5x. Giving different values for x, we can find the values for y. If x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3 plus 5 into 0, which is equal to 3. If x is equal to 1, we can see y is equal to 8 and if x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 3 plus 5 into negative 1 which is negative 2. Therefore, the solutions are 0, 3, 1, 8, negative 1, negative 2. And plotting these points on the graph paper, we can again see a straight line for representing the given equation. 
Question number 5. From the choices given below, choose the equation whose graph are given below in the figure. Here you are given the graph and 4 equations are given and we have to select which equation satisfies the given graph. From the graph we can see the solutions are negative 1 comma 1, 0 comma 0 and 1 comma negative 1. The four choices of equations are y is equal to x, x plus y equal to 0, y is equal to 2x, 2 plus 3y equal to 2x. As the coordinates of the point are 0 comma 0, negative comma 1, 1 comma negative 1, we can see the equation x plus y equal to 0 satisfies the graph. In question number B, from the graph, we can see the solutions as negative 1 comma 3, 0 comma 2 and 2 comma 0. And the four choices of equations are y is equal to x plus 2, y is equal to x minus 2, y is equal to negative x plus 2 and x plus 2y equal to 6. Substituting these values of x and y in the equations, we can see the equation y is equal to negative x plus 2 satisfies the graph. Question number 6. If the work done by a body on application of a constant force is directly proportional to the distance travelled by the body, express this in the form of an equation in two variables and draw the graph of the same by taking the constant force as 5 units. Also read from the graph the work done when the distance travelled by the body is 2 units and 0 units. In the question it is given that work done is directly proportional to the distance travelled. Let us take the work done as the variable y and the distance as the variable x. So we can write y is directly proportional to x. To remove the proportional symbol we can write y is equal to kx where k is the constant force applied. In the question it is given the constant force is 5 units. So our equation will be y is equal to 5x. So, giving values for x, we can find the solutions as 1 comma 5, 0 comma 0, negative 1 comma negative 5 and so on. Plot the points 1 comma 5, negative 1 comma negative 5, 0 comma 0, we can find the graph of the linear equation y is equal to 5x. Based on these linear equations, Finding solutions and plotting the points on the graph paper, you can do exercise 4.3, page number 74 and 75, questions number 1, 7 and 8.